Hello everyone, this is um, Sam again from fightforex.info. Uh, today's video is um, my attempt to explain uh, our currency trends meter. So on our site we have this free currency trends meter available for anyone interested in understanding the currency trends as of that moment in the 28 major currency pairs and like I said this is available for free on our site fightforex.info uh, this is the URL but if you want to just uh, come through our main site you can go to fightforex.info click on this menu option that says currency trends trends and trends and then click on this to get to the transmitter. So like I said, this is a meter and this is um, not a signal or an alert or anything like that. This is a meter that shows whenever you come to this page, the snapshot of the trends in the currency pairs at that time. So let's try to understand this a little bit more so you can use it effectively for your trading decisions. So as you can see, it is, it is um, built and it shows various sections. The first is top trends. The second one is the breakup of 15 minute trends, one hour, four hour, and then at the bottom there is a section for FAQs. So let's try to understand this, right? So the table that is at the top is, in my opinion, the most useful and the most effective tool that you can have. It is nothing but a summary of trends in these 28 major currency pairs and is shown in the descending order of the strength of the trend. So the strongest trend is at the bottom, sorry, at the top, and the weakest at the bottom. It is important to note that just because there's a trend shown at the top and is shown as the strongest trend, it doesn't automatically mean that you should start opening trades and use this information as is. It's important that you understand this table a little bit more, understand how this values are derived, and then decide how you want to use it, right? Um, all this table is really showing is, as you can see, the pair, the strength, then there is something called as total or sum of trend scores. This nothing but sum of 15 minute, one hour, four hour, and one day trend scores. Now, I will not go into the exact calculation of trend scores. That's kind of a proprietary uh, information that uh, we have. However, it's important to know that the bigger the number, either positive or negative, the stronger the trend, right? So on a 15 minute chart, this is showing minus 21, minus 18, minus 17, minus 11, and some goes to minus 67. The next one in line is GBPCAD at this moment. It seems to be an upward trend at this point with these numbers, right? So how do you, how do you really use this information, right? So our recommendation is that you check this information whenever you want to open a trade. And if you see a trend that is strong enough, like the total value, which is the absolute value, positive or negative, or the absolute values are always positive. So in this case, the absolute value is 67, even though the actual value is minus 67. So we recommend that look for this to be at least 100. And look for all of these to be at least all of them above or below 20. So what that indicates, in our opinion, is that it's a consistent trend. It's like on all time frames, the currency is trending um, fairly um, well, 
and that we would definitely recommend something that you should consider for actual training. At this point, none of these are good enough for training in our opinion. However, it's open for you to interpret any way you want. Uh, some users have come back and said, okay, if the value is positive on the 15 minute, but negative on the remaining three, that's a good way or good entry point for a short trade. And on the other side, on, if you flip this around, if the 15 minute is negative, but the rest are strong positive numbers, then that's a good entry point for long. I mean, some people use it that way. Some people um, may have different formula. So you derive your own formula, how you want to do this, use your own strategy. But the meter is available for free, come anytime, use it for your trading decisions. And we hope that you, you'll, you'll make profits using this information. Uh, we do have a alert service, but that service is not free. If you want to get notified when the trend is above or below certain number, like, like we said, if it's above or below 100 or uh, at least 80, then we would send you an alert so you don't have to keep checking this page. But like I said, the alerts or the signal services are not free that you have to pay for. But once you come to the site, you'll understand more. Uh, about that. Uh, again, going down the page, if you are interested and you want to scrutinize further, you can check the 15 minute trends, how they are. There is some recommendation on whether the trend is good, strong, bad, in a three star scale. Three star being the best, two being medium, and one being not so great. Um, and same for one hour and four hour. Uh, so that's about it. That's how this trends meter works. That's how you should use it. Uh, feel free to uh, comment or send us your questions and uh, we'll be more than happy to help. Okay, We sincerely hope that you find this transmitter and our service uh, helpful for your trading. Okay, thanks guys.